Good day, my friends. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. My name is Luke, of course. What I have today for you all is the Feast 4 Cook Set from Fire Maple. This is a product that I've been testing out for a while, and while I'm not ready to give you all my full review, I figured that I would make this episode and share my experiences concerning this set so that you have some general information about this product. The reason I'm doing this is because at the time of filming on YouTube, there's very few videos concerning this set. So I figured I would give you all some feedback on this just in case you've been considering it. With this cook set here, this is the Feast 4 version. There are many different versions of this. There's a 2, 3, 4, and 5. And basically the number translates not only to the components that you receive, but also the amount of people this is supposedly good for. This is the Feast 4, and it's designed for three to four people. And that's according to the company. This, my friends, is the Feast 4 cook set. What you receive is this. First, you have a mesh storage bag with a draw pull at the top. I have to say that the quality of this is rather good. This is the kit itself in its stored form. So, to start off, we have a frying pan with a griddle sort of texture on the bottom. As you can see there, we have a folding handle that also locks into place. To unlock it, you press here and it snaps back just like that. On the grips here, these are covered in plastic. Unfortunately, it's not silicone, but it's plastic. It's grippy, it's easy to hold on to, but you do have to be careful because plastic will melt. Silicone is much more resistant to heat than plastic is. That's why I said it's unfortunate that it's not silicone. That was the frying pan. Now we have the pots. Fold back the handle. We have a lid. This works for the large pot and also for the frying pan. It's not a perfect fit, but it's very close. It's definitely usable. On the inside, we have an additional pot. With the large pot here, this offers two liters of capacity. Folding handle, plastic grips, locks into place, and you have the lid. With the smaller pot, it's the same sort of setup. We have a lid. On the inside, we have a pot scraper. We have a small lid. The company says these are bowls. Okay, there are two bowls. We have a sponge for cleaning all of this up. We have a kettle, and this is a 0.8 liter kettle. And then we have the smaller pot, and this offers one and a half liters of capacity. When it comes to the lids, they all have the same features. You have vent holes, you have a grab tab. Now, unfortunately, the grab tabs are made from plastic, but luckily, they do lock into place. Focusing on the kettle again, you do have a handle here that is covered in plastic. You have the pour spout, this is the lid, vent hole, grab tab. With this kettle, there are no markings on this. And what you see is what you get. That is the Feast 4 and all that you receive with it. Now let's go over some of the company's claims concerning this kit. First off, they say this is designed for three to four people. And I would disagree with my experiences with this set, and I'll explain why this is. This is more of like a two and a half to three person kit. They also claim because this is made from hard anodized aluminum that the cooking surfaces offer excellent heat transference and offer resistance to food sticking. The heat transference is true. The food sticking part, that's not true. They say this is excellent for car camping, but because it's lightweight and compact, it's also good for extended backpacking trips. I'm going to disagree with that because of size and weight. This entire kit here weighs 2.2 pounds, which is somewhat heavy. Now, if you're going out with a big group and you could split this up, that would make more sense. But generally speaking, this is not a backpacking kit by any means. As far as the materials go, this is made from aluminum, stainless steel. We have some ABS plastic, in other words. When it comes to the stored dimensions, it's five inches tall and roughly seven and a half inches wide. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to go over the dimensions of every single component, but you will find that information in the description box. Lastly, before going to my impressions of this kit, let's talk about price. The retail price is $65, but at the time of filming, you can pick this up on Amazon for 55 bucks, and that's with a 15% off Amazon coupon. With all of those details out of the way, let's go over my impressions of this kit so far. Now, I'm basing these impressions upon two trips that I've done out. I filmed one, and the other I did not film. It was a personal trip. First, I can tell you all that the quality of this kit is excellent. The fit and finish, everything about this is well made. There's no rough edges, no sharp edges, nothing like that. 
This is a nice kit as far as quality goes for 65 bucks or $55 with the 15% off coupon. At the same time, this is a well-balanced kit. You have the two pots, the frying pan, and the kettle. You could do quite a bit with this system here. Additionally, I have to say this is a good looking kit. I like the black handle accents, it looks sharp. There is also a orange version of this, which I think looks good as well. With the sponge, I guess you could say it's nice the company included this, but the truth is you can use this one time and then it's done. I personally wish the company would have left this out and lowered the price. The same goes for the little scraper and these two bowls. These are absolutely worthless. The company says these are bowls. You tell me folks, are these bowls? I think they're more cups, but you can't hold it <laughs> like a cup. I don't know. I'm not really sure what you would do with these. The next issue is that this is a four person kit, right? You have two bowls. It just doesn't add up. In the end, to me, it feels like the company threw these in to justify the price some, but personally, these products, these items are no good. And for most people, they will be a waste. They're not going to be used. With the sponge, it's not going to do a good job of cleaning up this kit, especially if you have something that's really stuck on, something like cheese, maybe some fried meat, something like that. Generally, these things you can use like one time, and that's it. This is not the same thing as a pot scrubbing sponge. With the handles, these are excellent. I love the way that they fold out of the way, they lock into place, they snap back. These are really good quality handles that I'd like to see on other cook sets as well. It's a very robust system, and at the same time, it's rather strong. It doesn't feel weak at all. Oftentimes when it comes to these inexpensive cook sets, the mechanism itself will feel very, very weak, very flimsy, but that's not the case here. I've already spoken about the handle materials. With this being plastic, you have to be extra careful. Now I can say that I've had no melting so far, but the thing is, you really do have to be careful. Also, I will say because it's textured, it really does a good job of staying in your hand. It's not slippery at all. When it comes to the kettle, I actually like this quite a bit, but take a look at this thing. This is very small. This is not a four person kettle by any means. At the very best, this is a three person and that's because of size. Let's say that you were using this kettle with four individuals. Each individual would get less than eight ounces of water or whatever it is that you're making inside of this. That's less than one cup each. With the main pot, this thing is massive. That is a very big pot and you could cook a lot inside of this. I feel the same way about the secondary pot. This is a good size. It offers quite a bit of capacity. You can do a lot with this. Next, everybody, when it comes to the pots, each pot has its own lid. Now, luckily, with the larger size pot, that lid can work on the frying pan. It's not a perfect fit, but it's very close. It's definitely usable. The features on the lids themselves is what you would expect. You have vents, you have grab tabs, and luckily they do lock into place. Just like the handles, this is made from plastic, so you do need to be careful when it comes to long duration, high intense heat cooking or boiling or whatever. You have to be careful because this plastic can melt. Next up, folks, let's talk about this frying pan. For a three to four person kit, this is a small frying pan. You can get four really small burgers on this. Small is the key word. But let's say that you're cooking up a steak or something like that. It would be one steak at a time. Next, we have the griddle raises on the inside. I can tell you that it leaves a nice sear on whatever it is that you're cooking inside of the pan. Maybe a burger, maybe some fries. But again, you may not want that. It really does depend on your personal preferences and what you're cooking. The storage bag is of a really good quality and it easily fits this kit. Now let's talk about my biggest issue when it comes to this set here and that's the fact that it's not non-stick. At least for myself this is a deal breaker. I personally do not want to take any sort of cook set out into the wild camping and so on. That is not non-stick and that's because it becomes such a pain to clean this stuff. The company says because it's anodized aluminum that it resists sticking food. That is simply not true. With the first trip out that I did with this set up here I cooked a burger and let me tell you even after covering this in oil, that burger stuck directly to the metal. It was on there so good that I could not wash this. I could not care for this while I was camping. I had to take it home to clean it up. The non-sticking aspect also carries over to the pots, but when it comes to a pot, it really does depend on what you're cooking inside of it, how big of a deal this is. Let's say that you're boiling some noodles, not that big of a deal. Let's say that you're cooking up some sort of rice dish, it can be. It doesn't take much for everything inside of your pot to stick to the pot itself, and it can become a true nightmare to clean. When it comes to the claim that anodized aluminum resists sticking food, I have seen this claim being made by other companies, but the truth is I've never seen the data behind it that backs that up. I would not be surprised if that's just pure marketing. Maybe some company hired a marketing firm to do a study and they discovered that it's like 5% less sticking than 
other materials like stainless steel or something. Hell, it could be 2%, just enough so they can use that claim. You know what I mean? The simple truth is, is that you have to be very careful when it comes to materials like this because food will stick to it very easily. Because it can be so difficult to clean these pots and pans, it can introduce safety issues at camp. You really have to be careful depending on where you're camping at, not only with predators, bears, and so on, but with smaller critters. You have to be able to store these dirty items if you can't clean them up in the proper way. The issues with food sticking to these pots and pans cannot be understated. In fact, on the Fire Maple website, I've seen the same complaints. Nightmare sticking situations when it comes to cooking with these pots and pans. I am never ever going to tell you all what to do, but for myself, I am not interested in using this in any sort of capacity in the outdoors for the simple fact is that the cleanup can be such a nightmare. I'd much rather invest in a non-stick setup to make my life easy, you know what I mean? It is well worth the money in that regards, especially when you're in the outdoors, when you're camping, when you don't have luxuries at hand. Maybe you don't have abundant water. Maybe you don't have strong soap or a bristle pad to get these things clean. These are aspects that you need to consider before purchasing this kit. With that being said though, I believe the company does offer a non-stick version of this frying pan. I wish, I mean, I really, really wish they included that with this kit because food sticks to this so easily and it can be a true nightmare to get it clean. And right there you have it, everybody. Those are my thoughts concerning this kit. I wanna ask you all, what do you all think about this? Is this really a four person setup? And what do you think about this kit not being non-stick? Is that a big deal to you? I tell you what, if the company was to bring out a non-stick version of this entire kit, I would easily pay more for it because it would be awesome. That is my agenda-free initial review of the Feast for Cook Set from Fire Maple. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts, hit the like button before you go. I will see you all again soon. Everybody take care, be well, strengthen up.